Good morning and welcome to Victory is Mine with Pastor Andy Stump of Victory Christian Center in Carthage, Missouri. Start your day with the powerful message of hope, faith, and victory in Jesus Christ. Here's Pastor Andy bringing you encouragement straight from God's Word. Good morning. We've been exploring the question of why did God become man? As we get closer to Christmas, it's just good to remind ourselves and and kind of meditate on what God has done in Christ so that it's not just a picture of a baby and cuteness and all the warm and fuzzies, but it's God doing something. So we've been looking at different aspects of this that I believe are found in the Word of God in the New Testament. You know, yesterday we looked at sin, and sin is really at the core of what is wrong with our existence. Because sin wasn't just the only thing that came. Sin was a package deal. With sin came sickness. With sin came death. With sin came brokenness. With sin came haywire. Everything's haywire. And so I believe there's a beauty in the New Testament that in dealing with sin, as we talked about from Second Corinthians 5 yesterday, Jesus dealing with sin necessarily affects the rest of the package. The core is sin, but if it affects the core, it affects everything else that stems from sin and flows from sin. And so this morning, I want to take a look at sickness. And this one, the verse that I want to look at is Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5, although tomorrow I want to look more at 5. But in Isaiah 53, 4, it says, Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. Verse 5, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. There's been a lot of discussion about these words. There's no way around the fact that these words, the NIV translates infirmities and sorrows. Without a doubt, they absolutely mean infirmities and they mean sorrows, but they are so broad in the meaning of these words that they absolutely include, if not emphasize, sickness. And again, sickness isn't here without sin. Sickness is a result of sin. And so it is absolutely quite logical that if God took care of sin, he necessarily took care of sickness. But we don't have to rely on logic. We've got Isaiah 53, 4 and 5, where he explicitly says this is what he does. The Anchor Bible Commentary says, but it was our diseases that he bore, our pains that he carried, while we counted him as one stricken, touched by God with affliction. And this goes back to that answer, why did he become man? People are looking at Jesus and thinking, oh, he's suffering sickness because he did something wrong. God inflicted pain and disease on him because he must have been really, really bad. And he's facing the penalty of his sin. But Isaiah is saying in 53, 4 and 5, while we're standing there saying, look at what he's suffering. God is saying, actually, he's suffering your suffering. He's suffering your sickness. He's taking on your sickness. He's taking on your pains. Mottier in his commentary on Isaiah says, The servant is indeed characterized by griefs and sorrows, but they were not his own. What the human eye missed, what can be known only by revelation, is now stated in the section which constitutes the heart of the poem. He acted by means of substitution. According to verse 4a and b, the servant lifts up and loads our needs onto himself. And in verse five, his sufferings were the penalty which he paid for our transgressions. I hope that you can take a look. Sin, sickness were not part of God's original plan. And what he did in Jesus was reverse the power of sin, reverse the power of sickness. Look to the Lamb of God. He took your pains. He took your sicknesses today. Thank you for joining us on Victory is Mine. We'd love to invite you to our candlelight service on Christmas Eve, December 24th at 7 p.m., where we'll have singing and refreshments. Victory Christian Center in Carthage, Missouri, is located at 13 996 Burr Oak Road. You are welcome to join us any Sunday at 10 a.m. or 5.30 p.m. Have a blessed day and Merry Christmas.